Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you the very first step on getting started with administering SharePoint using PowerShell. First of all, we need to find the right tools. If you have Windows 10 installed, then you have the ISCs installed by default. So first time now, I'm going to run this as an administrator. I'm going to do that because I'm going to install some software and make some system changes using PowerShell here. Here we have the main user interface. As you see, we have a couple of different panes. We have the help pane over here. We have the console pane and we have the script pane. We're going to be using mostly the script pane and we're going to see the output in the console pane and we're going to use the help pane over here to get help, of course. First thing we need to do is, is to set the execution policy so we're actually able to run PS1 files on this machine. This is a development machine, so for me, of course, I want to be, have the ability to run PS1 files. That's kind of the point. But you might want to reconsider those security options for yourself and set it to temporary. You might want to sign your files. Those are outside the scope of this demo. Anyhow, let's get started. Set execution policy. That's what we're going to be doing. And here you see I have an autocomplete IntelliSense kind of thing here. And uh, the parameter that I want to send is execution policy. And I want to set it to unrestricted on this machine. I get a little warning about that. That I'm going to say, yes, I'm aware of what I'm doing. Good. All right. That's the first step. Second step is to install the main tools that we're going to be using. Those tools are called SharePoint PNP. So I'm going to open a new tab here. SharePoint PNP. PowerShell, that's the one we want. I'm just going to Google that, and as you see, I've already gone there, but if you'll find it easily on GitHub, this is a Microsoft-run and supported open source tool for administering SharePoint or for doing SharePoint stuff in general. So what we need to do is, of course, to choose the right version, depending on what we're going to be working with. We're going to be working with SharePoint Online here, so I'm going to choose this command. Install module, right? Now I'm going to put that here in my script, and then I'm going to run that row. I can do that by pressing F8 on my keyboard or running the selection. So I'm just going to run that now, and now I'm going to get some more security warnings, of course, because I'm installing software on this computer. The module's needed, and once that's done, I'm going to be able to connect to SharePoint for the first time using this new tool. So meanwhile, we can go out to my SharePoint site, the SharePoint Online site that I have here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the, the link to my site, which is the one I'm going to be connecting to. Now you see the modules are done installing, so I can do the next step, and I can connect. Uh, and I'm going to connect PNP. All the PNP commands start with PNP, so it's, it's really easy to find them. Of course, we're connecting to a SharePoint site. Uh, uh, I, as you see, I tab through the different options here, and the one I want is uh, Connect PNP Online. The parameters here are URL. Of course, that's the URL I want to connect to. And then I'm just going to paste that URL there. You actually don't need to write the URL parameter here because that is the default one. So if I just do that, that works also, making it simpler, of course, to read. So now I'm going to run that line of code, and here I get the credentials. And I'm going to enter that. I have a rather long username on this demo site here, so I'm just going to copy that. And back to the script here. There we go. Paste that in and type in my password. There we go. And now, now I don't get anything back, which in PowerShell is really good, because that means everything went as it should. All right. So now just to check that I'm actually connected, I can do one of the many different commands here. So now if I refresh this, remember we installed a new module here. I can see all the module commands. There we go, SharePoint, PNP, PowerShell Online. And there we see all the different PNP commands that we can use. You see there's quite a few of them. And so let's use one for getting lists. So I'm just going to search for lists here. And there you see I have the new PNP and set PNP and the get PNP list. Let's use that one. Get PNP list. That gives me all the lists in the site. So I can either just click on that 
And here you see I have some parameters, but I actually don't need any of those. I can just run the command as it is. I'll just go ahead and copy that and put it here in my script. And now I can run that line also, F8 again. And here you see I am connected to the SharePoint site and I get all the lists and apps that I have on my site, which is good. List and libraries specifically. And as you also notice, I get a lot of them that are not actually in the UI. So there's much more here than if I go into the site contents. That only shows me the visible stuff. But PowerShell shows me all the stuff that's in there, even if it's hidden and system stuff and all that. So that's good. So what we've done here is we have set the execution policy. We have found our ISE tool. And we've installed the SharePoint PNP PowerShell online. And we've verified that it actually works. Thank you for watching this demonstration.